We all know what GTA 6 is being worked on. Officially, nothing has been said, but let's be honest. Rockstar are definitely working on GTA 6. And over the last couple of years, there have been some minor leaks and rumors here and there about GTA 6. But lately, we've actually received a lot more of them. And in this video, I just want to cover all of the leaks and rumors that we know about GTA 6 that are somewhat believable, that, that are coming from sources that are pretty good. And that doesn't mean these things are true. And you will see there are three main leaks. Two of them are similar. One of them is a little bit different, but these are coming from some pretty reliable places, but that does not mean this stuff is entirely true. So do take this with grains of salt. This is just what's out there. Now, I will first start by saying for the people that may think, well, GTA 6 is years off. So these leaks probably aren't true because the game's maybe still only like halfway into development. Well, for Red Dead Redemption 2, the map, the entire map for Red Dead Redemption 2 was leaked about two years prior to that game coming out. So that just goes to show you that anything can happen with these development studios like some person one person is upset or is mad at someone else then they can leak it even though it's probably not smart for them to but anything can happen that's basically what we're getting at now the first set of leaks is the most recent and this is the one that i tend to believe a little bit more than the other ones at least it just makes a little bit more sense but this is coming from the ps5 leaks I've covered this about a week or two ago when it was a big story, but just to reiterate, someone, he said he was a small developer working on a game for the PS5. Last December, he leaked a bunch of information about the PS5, what the specs were gonna be, and about two or three weeks ago, there was an official article from PlayStation that basically confirmed everything he said regarding the specs, like all the specs that he put in this leak was true so that just gave this guy some legitimacy well the other part the part about gta 6 in his leak was that he said it's coming out holiday 2020 next year he said that he was hearing sony possibly could be paying a huge amount of money to rockstar and take two to secure a one month timed exclusive for the ps5 and he heard rumors about miami and new york so two big cities but he wasn't sure if that was 100% true. Now that's, it's not a whole ton of information about GTA 6, but this, it, it sounds like it's the most reasonable and likely scenario. New York, Liberty City, we've already been to, and I think Rockstar maybe would like to just sit there in that city again and show off, you know, all their new technology, I'm sure, for the new console. And then Vice City. As, as fans, I think a lot of us want to go back to Vice City so it makes sense. And again, if we're on new console, new, you know, new hardware, what better way to show it off, to show off all the things you can do with two of the biggest cities in the GTA franchise. And also the Sony one month timed exclusive that probably would be for online. That probably wouldn't be for the actual, like the actual game wouldn't be a one month exclusive for the PS5. That would just be insane. I feel like it would be the exact same thing Red Dead Redemption 2 online has done. The DLC comes out a month earlier on the PS4. That's probably what that's talking about. And then the release date, holiday 2020, that's the only part that's like a little iffy. We all know Rockstar love to delay stuff, so I'm sure that probably isn't the release date anymore. Although it could potentially be. Rockstar could totally release a trailer sometime this summer, whether it's at E3 or whether it is at like Sony's conference when they announced the PS5 or just some random time during the year, during the summer. If they have been working on GTA 6 since, you know, 2013, since when GTA 5 came out, it's been six-ish years. So it's not like they haven't had time to get everything done. Now that's the first leak. The second one is actually coming from last year. I believe this is from the people at Rooster Teeth, the No, they got an exclusive leak from someone i guess an industry insider they never gave 
any information on that person because they didn't want them to get in trouble and stuff. But this leak said that the next GTA game was codenamed Project Americas, and it would be set in Vice City and South America. So two locations again, kind of same in line with the first leak. But this person said that it was slated to be released in 2021 or 2022, so still quite a far distance away. And it would most likely feature a female protagonist, although if they were gonna do multiple protagonists again, that hadn't been decided. Now, for people wondering the validity of this source, apparently the people, the no, Rooster Teeth, whoever, they're about 50% right on leaks that they put out there. Someone mentioned they leaked that Microsoft was gonna buy Konami Studios for like a billion dollars or something and that never happened. So they were wrong about that. But then on the other hand, they were right about a certain Dark Souls 3 leak. So it's like 50-50 on whether or not this leak could be true or not. I am leaning towards not true just because it's a little, I think it's a little weird how GTA 6 would be not in America for a certain part of it. Vice City makes sense, but South America, like that that just gets a little far out there. That doesn't really fit GTA, I don't think. I mean, I'm sure Rockstar can make it work. I'm sure it'd be great, but I just think that would be a little off-brand, so to speak. Although apparently in this leak, like the main sort of theme would be drug smuggling which makes sense from Miami to Columbia. Although in today's world, if they did do it in an updated, like modern setting, wouldn't that be a little more difficult? It I don't think it would be as good as like the 80s were back in the original Vice City game. But that was the second leak. This one, again, I'm kind of 50-50 on. It could be true, it could not be true. The third leak is like the one that is the most unlikely but the reason I wanted to include it is because apparently the person who posted this link has been around for like 10 plus years posting GTA 5 info before that game came out, even GTA 4 info before that game came out. So this goes back to, this guy goes back to like 2007, 2006 apparently. And this guy said that the game will take place in North America and South America. It's codename Project Americas. So we, we know that from the, the second leak. It will include three to four major cities, Vice City, Cuba, or Havana, Cuba, and then somewhere in the Panama, Brazil, or Colombia, basically South America. It says Vice City will serve the major focus of the game, but you're not gonna start there. So probably like a North Yankton type scenario. This guy does say all the cities, islands outside the US will be their real names instead of made up names. And he says the cities, they will have depth as opposed to scale. So there'll be more little things rather than just a giant, giant city. The craziest part about this leak is that he says weather is being modeled into the game to create category four slash five hurricanes. I mean, Rockstar did some crazy stuff with the weather in Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know if having a, a hurricane in GTA would necessarily fit it again, but this is just what the guy said. And then he also said, not relating to GTA 6, but Bully 2 is the next game and you play as Jimmy Hopkins as a freshman, but it's in a university next to a large fictional city. Now this third leak, like I said, is probably the most least likely one to happen just because it's a, it's a little bit crazy if you think about it, like hurricanes. I forgot to mention, but it said that it was gonna progress, the story was gonna progress over multiple decades which would mean that if there was three cities, there would have to be three cities that all look different in multiple decades, which would just be a massive amount of work for Rockstar to pull off and do. And then the fact that he said Bully 2 is the next game. Now that's kind of been a rumor for a while, but since we haven't heard anything in about a year or two regarding Bully 2, I, I think that maybe that might've just got pushed off the table for the time being. Now, some final things regarding some other rumors that I've seen. Two of these leaks mentioned South America or Cuba or somewhere not in the US. Well, apparently Red Dead Redemption 2's Guarma was kind of a test for Rockstar for a place like Cuba or South America, like Colombia, if, if you wanna go there. That makes sense. 
And because of Gorma in RDR2, that kind of sets a precedent that Rockstar is willing to go places outside of the US, even though that is a different franchise than GTA. But that's just one rumor I saw. Another one, and this is coming from, or this was coming from Leslie Benzies. A couple years ago, he said it would be weird to visit a post Tommy Versetti world. So that would mean that, you know, visiting Vice City again, a couple years, you know, decades, maybe after Tommy Versetti, that would just not work. Granted, he's not at Rockstar anymore. He left a couple years ago, but maybe that's still their line of thinking. So potentially, and I guess more than likely, this GTA 6 would start a new universe. Like Tommy Versetti wouldn't have existed in this universe. So everything that happened in that game none of it matters basically regarding liberty city being the next city an interview with dj who kid i guess is his name who apparently has worked with rockstar and he might have been i guess he was in other gt games he might have been in gta 5 i really i'm not entirely sure but in an interview with him he asked what video games he was in and he said he was in call of duty and he was in some gta games and he's about to be in the new gta Game that takes place in New York. I believe this interview is like two-ish years old, but that is another interesting thing just to throw out there. And then the final bit of juicy speculation. This is coming from an employee review site. It's called Glassdoor. It's basically a site where developers and stuff, they can actually leave reviews on the companies they've worked for. And a couple days ago, this guy, this person said he was a QA tester for Rockstar. And look at the pros, get to play some of the best games in the industry, get to play test the newest consoles in the market and unreleased kits. And that's just interesting considering the whole leaked PS5 information and how the developers or certain developers were getting the PS5 test kits. So that's just another thing that adds some legitimacy to that initial PS5 gta 6 leak to wrap this video up the one thing i guess that is common between these three leaks is vice city so it does appear that that is the the location the city one of the cities that we're going to be visiting the other thing that sort of ties these leaks together is the fact that each one of them mentions more than one city the first one was new york and vice city liberty city and vice city the second one was Vice City and South America. And then the third one was Vice City, Cuba in South America. So with GTA 6, I would say that we're going to be in Vice City and there's going to be another city or another area that we can explore in addition to the main part. And it could be like GTA 5, where maybe you do start out in Cuba as like the prequel or the, the prologue. That could be the North Yankton of the game. And then you work your way to Vice City and then maybe you work your way to Liberty City. There's still a lot of questions though. It's like, how would this necessarily work? Because Vice City, Miami's at the bottom of the US. Liberty City, New York's at the top. Would it just be a loading screen that you take? Would you just take an airplane? Is this something that would only be in single player? Would there not be two cities in online? Like there's, there's a lot of questions here, but those are the main leaks and rumors that we know of at the moment. Again, do take everything I said with a grain of salt. You guys in the comment section can let me know which one you think is legit and what do you think GTA 6 is gonna be about. Thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like. If you did enjoy, subscribe for more GTA Online and GTA 6 content. As always, if anything new comes out regarding GTA 6, I will be sure to let you guys know. But as always, I will see you guys in the next one.